Do I whistle? Do I sing? I don't know. I hear myself, so that's always good. And I can't, there we go. Okay, here we go. Ah, gosh, that was loud. That was really loud. Wow. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. My name is Bando and this is the Bando stream. You're on twitch.tv slash Bando or youtube.com slash Bando. I don't, it, well, you're not on youtube.com slash Bando because you, you got the slash watch, all that stuff happening afterwards. So you probably don't have that happening, but in general, you're, you're in the rough vicinity of these sites. So uh, today is the, uh, the 21st of March, uh, 2022. It is a, it's been a wonderful sunny day today. And, uh, I hope you, yourself, have had a wonderful day today. I've been pretty alright. Bit of, bit of panic sorting out things in the work world today. Uh, nothing, like, serious, but, like, th things that just urgently happen. So it's like, ah, okay. Uh, but that's alright. Um, you know, you get, you get some casual days, you get some more busy days. That's how the cycle goes. So, speaking of a busy day, today, oh, check it out, by the way, I've got a little little overlay of my controller so you know that I'm hitting a few things. I've kind of hinted, oh my gosh, there's a C button. I've kind of hinted that, yes, I am indeed playing a Sega, um, this is a Sega CD game. This is one that I don't even know who referred it to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna credit WAP on this one. Congrats WAP, you did it. Um, this is a game that I played once and I was like, hey, that's like, it's crazily up my alley. I don't really know how to explain it. So why don't I actually just dive right in? How about that? So here we go. Uh, check it out, Sega CD. It's a little bit wider on the screen than I was expecting actually. Hold on, yeah. It's a little bit wider. I don't think the game is actually that wide, but just, just in case, I, I'm gonna, gonna toy around with that. I love the Sega CD music as well. Absolutely jamming. What even was the Sega CD like trying to showcase here? Because all of this is on a ROM cartridge. There's no like extra leverage I think the Sega CD really does beyond disc reading and just having like high memory capacity. So I don't know, the Sega CD is a really interesting part of history for me. Anyways. Uh, this is a game by, well, it's not by Sega, it's, uh, published by Sega, though. Um, and, uh, how do I phrase it? Well, basically, yeah, have you ever played, like, um, you ever, you know those, like, DVDs, and they have the little bonus features, and the bonus features have a bit where you, like, uh, you gotta do a game where you save the person, you, like, navigate some menus, and you press them at the right time, um, or Dragon's Lair is basically the, the answer. Well, this is Wirehead. Wirehead is a... Uh, yeah, I'm curious if I've got enough space. I really can't tell until I get into the game. So how about let's just get into the game. Wirehead is basically one of those games. It's, uh, pick the direction and don't die kinds of games. Yeah, is that? Okay, I've got enough screen real estate. I don't know why I was just wider earlier. Alright. Keep the 4x3 for now. Keep the 4x3. Um, I'm gonna try and keep my talking a little minimal, but because it's basically like a 40 minute game with too many alternative routes and cutscenes, you're gonna be seeing some of the same stuff over and over again, so that's alright. Surprisingly, this game's got... Packs for Ned Hubbard. It's, me. it's got some actors. <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. The, the 90s was a wild time where, like, this was just a normal occurrence, apparently. Like, she's a bit surprised, but, like, she's not, like, running away screaming, you know? You'd expect to see this in the 90s. You kids, not to play with your father's controller. You know, you know where these kids are going. Right in the trash. In Get some new ones, man. You had a person called Laura, Natasha Pavlova. I believe this guy. That that. Oh my gosh, the names are going so quick, and it's so hard to know who's who. But oh <laughs> my gosh. Oh, here we go. The VHS in the courier mail. Because delivering a letter is too Dad, hard. I don't know how to say this. They've tortured me. They've killed my nurse. And now they're after you. I escaped. But I don't know how long before they find me or you. I've got to go. I'll be getting in touch with you very soon. In the meantime, I've got someone watching over you with my controller. Good luck. Okay, so that that's the uh, 
That's the gimmick of the game, basically. Mr. Ned Hubbard? Yes. My name is Frank Ross. This is my partner, Will Kramer. We're with the FBI. They'd like it if you'd come with us and answer a few questions, please. Why? About what? Why? It's no big deal. Just a few routine questions about Dr. Oha and his staff. But I don't know where he is. How did you know he disappeared? I, uh... So... Yeah, this is basically how the game sets itself up. You get some adrenaline, and then you get some directions, and then you can either not do anything and most likely lose. <laughs> yeah, you can you can you can lose very easily. To which you lose one hit off your bar, and then you can press a direction, and then realize that. You just went the wrong way. <laughs> Real trial by fire game. Really trial by fire. You're not going up. You're going down. <laughs> you'll also see like there's a handful of times when like you'll see the same shots here and there. Um, it's it's a real weirdly interesting game because I'm also I'm gonna demonstrate a few like routes that are just like weird beginners pitfalls. So what you can do is that you can travel this way, but if you went to the right of the room, there's... I don't know, he's just around the other side. <laughs> so, okay. You lose a primary battery, and then, uh, you get a, basically, a you died, uh, screen. Also, does that say Skydiver turns into pizza? That is, uh... Amazing. Obviously, uh, this is the times, you know, just, it's the times, it's where you are. Uh, but yeah, effectively, taking three hits, you end up having to kind of go back to a full checkpoint. Whereas, like, if you, you know, you take one hit normally, you just, uh, you know, retry the one, like, shot again. Um, and they're nice enough, they give you a little indicator when you need to do an action, and uh, you don't have to, like, it grays out the wrong ways as well. There's a lot of wrong ways. This game is very hilarious in the wrong ways. So, I'm pretty much going to do a full playthrough, because none of these games are really that long. And especially, a game like this is one that, like, you can obviously try out every single possible combination. The only downside is, when you lose all three of those bars... Oh. <laughs> Bad choice. Bad choice. When you lose all three of your bars... The game just ends, and there's no there's no shortcuts, there's no nothing. The best thing you get is the game's kind of broken down into these like sections, where there's like a longer cutscene breaking the sections, and you can pause and skip the longer cutscenes. I know you can pause and skip, so you can just like go back and it's like. Oop. One thing I guess I'm really surprised about is how many of these extra scenes they did shoot though. Like there's so many of these extra shots, and also just ones like I'm gonna go left. Sometimes the game takes its time reacting. I'm gonna now not do anything. It's like, oh, they were really nice and they, they filmed something by just not doing stuff. It's kind of neat, so... Uh, I think people are probably gonna get a little tired of me constantly doing all the wrong moves, but... Uh, it's kind of neat. I hope you don't hear a dog or something barking in the back, but there has been something barking in the back. Me. <laughs> You're killing me! I don't believe this guy! <laughs> it's surprisingly, like, tricky as well. Like, for reference, okay, so the way you're supposed to go here, it's very unclear. And in fact, this beginning of the game is such like a trap, because a lot of the rest of the game is much more telegraphed. But you have to go left, then you gotta go right into the kitchen, and then you go right, which actually means go through the right door, not the left door. Now, the guy was hiding behind, like, in between the doors. Then you get this choice, where you get to choose, you know, a way to, to leave, and obviously you pick the car, and then he backs out, and, oh. <laughs> what were you thinking? You were gonna make a getaway in a family wagon? <laughs> They make fun of you as a player quite often in this game. So, um... 
Yeah, uh, yeah, no, game's over. Just back to the title screen. There's no settings as well. The best you got, the only setting you got is you can turn off the indicator, which is absolutely insane. Um, so yeah, you've just got to start the game all over again. Um, which is a bit of a weird anti-pattern, but like, I can just skip the cutscene and then work your way around. And honestly, when you skip the cutscenes, I think the game's about like, 12 minutes long. <laughs> it's really, it's really short if you do goof things up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna toy around with things. And we'll just see how we go for one stream. But let's continue on going. I'm, I'm not going to try and meander around every single possible dead end. Uh, because there's easier ways to show that off. But I do want to show some of the fun, the more fun ones. So obviously the car is bad, but what about the bike? <laughs> he, just, he just judges you with that look. He's like, nah, man. Oh, God. Straight into the bushes. Straight into the bushes. So obviously, oh my gosh, really? All the way back here? They didn't even put me back at the choice with the the vehicles? Can't even believe it. Like, it's, I mean, it's only like three, you know, presses away to get to the vehicles, but still, it's just like, it's something. Yeah. So I thought for this stream, I might as well show up my inputs, because otherwise you've got absolutely no idea what I'm pressing. Um, so pretty much, this is the D-pad. And then I've got my three directions, or three buttons, and a, and a pause button. Whoa! There he goes. He's dead. Obviously, you go forward. Nice. It's not, it's not having a good time. This beginning part, like, it does surprisingly trap the player, but, I mean, really... When you think about it, like, yeah, this game is basically, like, Dragon's Lair, back in the day, was still this kind of game. Uh, that was, like, the early 80s. Um, and it's kind of weird, like, not having quarters. Like, this game will eventually be beaten pretty quickly. Like, it, it doesn't take too many attempts to get it. It's just, it gets kind of annoying when you, when you screw up attempts and it's like, the game doesn't make it quite clear. So, here for example, you see a ramp, so you're like, oh, okay. Now, I, I will say this, every single button does this. Every single button on that ramp does that, and it's really bizarre. So instead, I'm gonna go left. Did he just, like, drop his second pair of sunglasses? Why do they always have a second pair of sunglasses? Okay, forward it is. Forward you go. Oh, he pulls out, you go right. Like, that. there's stuff like that, where it's like, oh, okay, I can see the logic in, like, what they're implying here. But then you got this, and you're like, what do you do? Obviously, you go forward. You just, you just pelt into her. And then here, there's another van, so obviously I go left. Oh, not left. I, I still think it's really neat that, like, there's just a different, you know, like, there's so many different, like, outcomes that this one gets into. And also on top of that, mind you, it's a Sega CD game where the video is you know, on the full screen. It's, the resolution isn't really that great. Like, honestly, I'd recommend, like, st step back from your monitor to really, like, understand what's going on. Um, but... I mean, it, it probably works a lot better on a CRT when the colors kind of blend together a bit more. Also, like that, it's like you're looking at the, the floor. Like, what what tells you? What tells you that you're about to be run over by someone? Oh, and then also, like, trying to recover, like, where you were. Oh, down he goes. Trying to, like, second guess, like, where, where it puts you. Because, like, you've got a half second to remember that you were in front of that guy. So, it's not exactly the best design game, but I think what's really neat about it is that it's like, it's a real pure, like, film as an interactive, like, game thing. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna go left. Oh, we got a couch. You know what that means, just go on it. I'm 
I'm gonna go right. And get hit by a car again. And down the road I go. And that was it. That's that's uh, that's a bit again. They do require you, actually, legitimately, so much, so much, uh, like, I guess, uh, you know, to get to the beginning. I think the beginning part is legitimately, like, one of the longer bits. But, you know, eventually you get through it. Like, here I am, I'm 15 minutes into a stream. And I've basically been talking about things, showcasing all the silly endings. Uh... Yeah, the, I, I, I don't really know how, what what to say about this game in terms of its impact, because it wasn't really impactful. And in fact, if you saw, it was copyright in 1995. That means it's one of, like, the, like, one of the last Sega CD games that even come out. There were only, like, five or six, I can remember, that came out after that. Um... And, uh, and on top of that, like, the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn we're out for a year already. The Sega CD is a weird one, because, yeah, the Saturn was right on, right on the, you know, right about to happen. And then also the 32X happened in the middle of those two as well, which is just like, ugh. It's an interesting, like, piece of tech, the Sega CD, but it's definitely one where it's like, mm, it was capitalizing on a trend that wasn't ready yet. It had to be a bit fermented. And I think that there's a degree of, like, finding out what's, you know, uh, oh, I hit right again. Sorry, my bad. Oh, I actually didn't hit anything. <laughs> I forgot, this this one prompt, like, note how it's been left up and right for so long. And suddenly then, just this one prompt, down is an option. And down is exactly where you want to go. It's like, oh, okay. Alright, I see. I see what you're on about. Uh, oh. Dude. This guy's neighborhood must hate him, if he keeps doing this. So you go left, and then you got the couch. At the very least, like, as well, it's not repetitive. Like, you play Night Trap. Night Trap is a really repetitive game. I think Double Switch is, like, it's a more superior version. Also, this is how this ends. Just, airport shuttle, just, just, yeah, let's go! See ya! <laughs> and he just gets abducted by an airport shuttle, apparently. It's obviously a Chevy, but sure. Oh, and and then you're supposed to hit right here. Maybe I should have shot off some of the other ones. Just goes whoosh, and no one, no one second guesses this. It just happens. So that's all right, and that's the end of the section. You get on your American Airlines, you're going. Because it's high G forces detected. That's why. What are you doing in here? I was uh, just making sure my bags got on the plane. No one is allowed in this room, sir. Now I, I suggest you take your seat. I don't think she's a good flight attendant if she doesn't recognize the guy. Like, y you should kind of like raise some eyebrows. Going, okay, it's a half book flight. Not too big a plane. You should kind of recognize that you didn't see this guy at all seated during takeoff. I guess pre, you know, pre-2001. Also, doo -doo -doo. Hello? Sally. Ned, where are you? I've been worried sick. The phone could be bugged, I'll explain later. Oh my Just gosh, loud truck. Remember that cabin we go to on summers when we first met? Yes. Go there. Grab the kids and leave the house right now. Ned, are you okay? Remember the doctor- Sally, go now. Sally. Right now, trust me, we could be in a lot of danger. Well, shouldn't I call the police? No, don't talk to anyone. Don't tell anyone where you're going. I love how they just. Excuse me, is that seat taken? <laughs> oh my gosh, testosterone mind? surge. No, not at all. <laughs> I love how there's obviously like no room in front of him. Like they've taken out the, the set of seats just for filming. That man back there who snores like a water buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. What? Airport security's just called. They think we might have a murderer on board. <gasps> Oh gosh. My name is Francis Mars, and yours? Ned Hubbard. Really? Aren't you the one that they call Wirehead? Oh, roll credits. I read about you in the papers. Ned Hubbard. Would a Mr. Ned Hubbard please press the passenger call button? Ned Hubbard. I have an idea. 
She just set the passenger call button. Like, that's it. Okay. So obviously, what do you do here? Don't do anything. Oh, it's the same thing as the down option. Well, then would you step right this way, please, sir? Hey, what's this for? What's this all about? Among other things, you're wanted for murder. I didn't kill anybody. They're trying to kill me. But it'd be a lot easier if you just cooperate. Well, it would be a lot easier if you people would listen to me. I think that... Hey, take it off. And there he goes. Close it up. Very calm. But, like, legit, do that when, like, the flight's done. I don't know, man. So obviously we fo we follow her. They'll never find us in here. Have you ever done it in the bathroom before? What? No. Too bad. Why? Because you'll never know how it feels. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. Jeez, bro. <laughs> I've forgotten some of these side endings. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm back here. I'm gonna run in. Oh no, there, Philip. What's the rush? Well, I'm trying to catch my flight. I'm just, hey, uh, congratulations, hey. officer. You just captured a fugitive from the 10 most wanted list. I'm no fugitive. Thank you very much. We'll I take it from here. Come on now. Well, that's convenient. Oh, punch the mic. I wish I had a badge so I could flash it around like that. I'm gonna go left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he didn't even get captured, he was just getting hit with a bag. That was it. Alright. Onto the plane. Can I skip this? I can skip it. So there you go, that's a skip. Alright. Don't listen to her. Let's hide in here. You go forward. Which is apparently the, s the same as turning around, apparently. And now I've got to witness him getting arrested. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. You people? Come on, Ned. You can't be judgmental like that, so. Cannot believe it. And he loses his head. And now I gotta now I gotta skip the cutscene. You think like the skip cutscene would be like the, the limit here. So obviously what you gotta do is you see a giant exit sign. So it's like, yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here, though. And then I don't know what happens here, really. <laughs> Sploosh. Yeah, he's fine, apparently. And then you tell him to go left, and he's like, Yeah, you got this, man. Dodge the water. I'm amazed that actually worked. Wow. Yeah, this is one of those, like, I don't know, reverse thingies. It's like the obvious way is, uh... Oh, well now. Looky here. Look who just popped out of the sky. We've been looking for you, Sonny. Right this way. Come on now. Don't give me any trouble. Now what? Come on. Like, how are you supposed to know that you're about to get arrested over on the left? Who knows? And you've got to watch him fly again. Wow. Keeps going. <laughs> hey, you're good. I love a lot of these, like, Sega CD games have the, the main character talk to you in some way. Whoa, man, gutsy. Oh, and he's gone. He's a goner. He is absolutely a goner at that point. Which is weird, because now you're thinking, like, wait. Were there four directions to send? Or was it just left up and down? I'm pretty sure it was just left up and down. I don't remember anything different really hey, being on there. Was there a down? Nope. You, you just go up. And he just rides it. And then he's just on a, on a branch, because why not? Obviously safest place to be. So you tell him to get down. Get down from the branch. 
very dead. Very, very dead. And he's very dead, so. Game over, yet again. Yet again. We shall now repeat the game. So here's actually a, a weird shortcut that I'm gonna kinda show. It, it, it's not tons of shortcut, but it's enough to like, get back to where we were a little bit quicker. In a bit of an odd way as well. So, remember I mentioned uh, that one ramp after the skateboard. It's about to come up in about 20 seconds. Um, and I was like, all three directions like, result in the same like, bad outcome. Uh, the game, for this one moment, I swear, invents that if you mash the up button, uh, if you mash the up button right here, you somehow end up in the sea. I don't, nothing tells you that that's the case. They're trying to kill me. Nothing tells you that this is the case. The one, the one like call that you get is that the game's demo jumps from like that bit into the car to kind of indicate that there's a route here. But she just goes, like she's just very willing to drive you away after your skateboard fell into into her passenger seat. I don't know, man. Slam the car. That'll get it going. And yeah, she drives you straight to the airport. And then, uh, yeah, we're basically on the same outcome. So, there you go. We're back to the plane. And now I can move right and get out of here. Let's hide in here. You can't skip this, though, unfortunately. I can't jump out of, I can't plane. Jump out of the plane. I love how she knows who you are, and then it's just like, whoops. Also, it, it said you were 40,000 feet, which is like, one, a little higher than what planes usually run at. And two, uh, that, that pressurized cabin is uh, not, not, not going to be very happy about you opening the plane like that. So anyway, let's go forward. Now he's on a branch. You gotta help me! You gotta help! So obviously the way to go is actually right here. I don't know. <laughs> is that a real bear? Let's go right, let's get parts of the bear. Ah, oh, he's getting hugged. I love the uh, imp noises. Alright, don't get hugged by the bear. Don't get hugged by the bear. Wow, all the way back here, really? I had to hit up and then right. This is so much gameplay. I think I've played like a handful of Sega CD games, like a real surprising amount. Like, there's some where it's just like, oh, it's obvious, like, you know, like, Sonic CD, um, Earthworm Jim's got a Sega CD version. And then, like, Night Trap and, and Double Switch and, uh, Corpse Killer have the Steam version, so that's alright. And then I also did play Sewer Shark. And I'm like, th there's actually, like, 200 games that were made for the Sega CD. Like, there's a really large number of games for it. I feel like it's, it's one that, like, people don't forget, because AVGN talked about it. Uh... I'm gonna go left instead. It's a different scene of him getting hugged by a bear. Alright, don't, don't, don't send me flying. He's sending me flying again. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go the right way. <laughs> the cutscenes take forever. Because I know the right way off the top of my head. This is like an anti-playthrough. This is like me actively showing you all the bad things. But I don't know, it's a, it's a fun game just to like, watch. I, I guess, I guess this is a weird one where it's like, here I am playing a game that almost plays itself. Like you can beat this game by hitting the button, the controller a hundred times. Like that's about it. He's, he's really hugging it, he's really going. There you go. I also love how he selectively has glasses. I don't know.
The consistency is a bit weird. So you gotta hit down here. And obviously, this is what you do with bears. You just die. He feels around, checks for your wallet. Uh, cops a feel, apparently. Worst thing to do is to peer up like that. And then, uh, he wanders off. He eats, shoots, and leaves. So obviously, uh, where do you wander up to? Uh, you know. The Wild West. Somehow. Do, do, do these establishments exist? It's apparently unknown, but... Here's an arrest warrant. Weird. Having a ripe old hoodanani in here. Papa's bacon ride. Oh my gosh. I think that someone is just taking like gunshots over there. There's a there we got chickens, we got people having a dance to my, like, blues beat, my standard blues beat right here. I assume this is just so he finds a shirt and some pants. So obviously, you know, you just go right past them. And then, uh, let's go over here, these girls. Nice. <laughs> Man, that that's uh that wouldn't fly now. Needs a head examination. Oh my gosh. Really back here? Back here? Really? Ah. Oh, this game is absolute pain when you go the wrong way. I'll tell you that. Cuz I'm apparently good. Hey, you're good. Oh, thank you, my man. So so I guess with that, uh, let me let me partially dive into ah uh, see what I did there. Let me partially dive into uh, there's a, there's a handful of shorter games I played this past week. I thought that'd be kind of interesting just to talk about. Um, so I'll I'll mention the uh, the first one, which is let me let me pull up my list. Uh, so I played uh, Lego Races 2 for the Game Boy Advance. This was a hour and a half long. Game, it's basically another one of those, uh, I'm pretty sure I can skip from- oh, I can't skip from here? Really? Oh. Um, it's one of those Mode 7 Game Boy Advance games, um, uh, I own, I played LEGO Races 2 on the PC, I know that there's a PS2 version and I'm not too sure if it was on other consoles at the time, um, but it's, a uh, it's an alright game, I, I thought it was okay, but the Game Boy Advance one was a bit, eh, uh, bit hairier, um, because it's effectively, they created these just absolutely like snaky and not really well flowing tracks. Um, Power-ups are incredibly hard to use, like only one of them homes in on enemies. Can, I can skip this, I can skip from here. So, alright. I was going to say, what happens if I go another direction right here? Um, oh, have a hoodanani. What? <laughs> You could just say no, my man. Ah. Oh. Looks like we got him, deputy. I think there's actually there's a handful of things that you can do, because ultimately there's a lot of bad things you can do, which gets you arrested, not killed, but arrested. Getting arrested, you take the hit, but you end up in this uh, in this jail, and it actually kind of continues on from there, which is kind of an interesting way of going about it. Like there is a way to escape to effectively continue on without taking the hit Good morning, Sheriff. but this is actually like kind of the quicker way to get out and gentlemen we have a very serious problem your prisoner here is accused of killing a man that he didn't kill and the real killers are in fact on their way here this minute to kill him now, i wouldn't worry your pretty little head about our prisoner man now, sheriff you just <laughs> don't understand these men are paid assassins they're going to kill you him me anybody to get to him now you listen here, little Mr. Is that, is that really what assassins do? Are, where you come from. But 
I know this. Our prisoner is safe. That's right. <laughs> well, may I at least speak to the prisoner then? Well, sure. I mean, pal, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> this is this is just Chuck Sneed and Feed, isn't it? I know who you are. I've met with Dr. Oha. He is safe, and he wants me to bring you to him now. But I don't even know where Look, I am. Look, I don't have time to explain everything right now. Trust me. Act dehydrated. Excuse me. Gentlemen, are you trying to kill this man? He is going to die of dehydration. Dehydrate. Yeah, what? He's going to die of thirst. Please, do something for him. Oh, hell, deputy. Get him a drink. Wait. Get him a Gatorade. Get him a Mountain Dew. Get ready. I swear you'd get arrested if you did this. Like just straight up like. I wouldn't do that if I were you, little lady. You open that cell door right now or I'm gonna blow your redneck head off. Put down the gun? You put it down? I mean I guess, I guess like I don't know. But it's like, man, you know, like, he's just two county sheriffs. I'm gonna go forward. Get in. What? Come on, both of you, move your butt. <laughs> like, that, this is a remarkable, like, save out of this. Slitcon? Is that the guy? Let's go left. Nice. It's the same two guys as well. They drove around to somehow find you. A, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain like how this all ends up. Let's go forward. Which is the exact same way. I'm going on right. Which is the exact same way. Wow. There's, there's a bit of that. There is a bit of that. Like, you know, there's, there's like a hundred scenes. They didn't film 300, like, deaths. You know, nothing like that, but sure. So, with LEGO Races, uh, yeah, it's it's not really the most fun. Um, oh, oh I, gotta, I gotta walk right? Okay. It's not really the most fun, um, but it's also over incredibly quickly, which makes it a very easy retro achievement set. There's not much to really say about it. Um, if anything, it's, it's also a bit, like, kind of... How do I say it? It at least takes an attempt to follow the same structure as the, the regular console version. But you can't... Oh, for reference, okay. So you make a character at the beginning, and then whatever your character looks like, like, after you, you know, play the game, you can't even tell what they look like. They're just wearing a blue helmet, and they drive the same car the entire time. You can't even customize the car in the Game Boy Advance version, which is, like, the whole point of LEGO Races. You build the car. Uh, even if it doesn't control any differently, it's like, oh, okay. So obviously, let's go right instead. So there it goes, it makes the run. Uh, straight out the back. You can tell it's good when the, the video doesn't even cut. Now here's something I kind of like, this one part of the game. You get a choice of three cars. Well. Dad, what are you doing? Oh no, we can't take this motorcycle. Grab a helmet. I don't like motorcycles. Yes, please let's take the jeep. I was gonna say, I think all three of these are valid options given that you go the right way. Or the bike is the wrong option. Whoa. Yeah, no, they're all valid options, I believe. Like you can you can get to the ending. Which is really neat. And then, uh, sometimes it's not easy to really know where exactly you go. Like, yeah, it's like, when, when did the, where, where did that come from? Who knows? And then, uh, I guess I get a choice again. I get to choose again. I want the bike, dang it. Ned? What are you doing? Oh, no, we can't take this motorcycle. Grab a helmet. I want the bike. Yes, please, take the Get on. Gosh. I want the bike, dang it.
There we are. I also want to know, like, these are the two guys you just locked up and they somehow get out. So, okay. Bad route on the left. Don't go left. Swerve back and forth. Easy. We go forward. And we immediately impale ourselves on a fence. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Give me that testosterone surge, apparently. Ned, don't do it, Ned. Don't be, don't be silly, Ned. He, he's being silly. Can't believe it, sir. Yeah, I don't have too much to say about the Lego races too. It was like two hours. Not much to say. Uh, I find Mode Seven games on the on the GBA to be kind of interesting because there's a lot of like really weird looking ones on the SNES, but then on the GBA, it's like there's so many of them. There's so many different kinds of those, and I think it's just because the GBA can pull a bit more grunt. Pull a bit more horsepower grunt on that one. So there you go, right? Obviously you want to go... Not forward. There's a big pole. Oh! Down the hill you go. <laughs> Down! Oh. Oh my gosh. You go straight across, or oh, straight to. And uh, oh, oh, there you go. That's one to react to. Oh my gosh, that second prompt was so quick. That second prompt was so quick. And uh, that's a that's a full death yet again. So, <laughs> someone else made him run. Okay, sure. Alas, still no, still no shortcut. So back to the house, and away you go. The nine hits do take a bit. Like, once you know where you're going from here, it's not very easy to, like, lose your hits on the way. So I guess there's that. This does mean I guess I get another chance at the, um, I hit left here, I don't know why. My bad, sorry. I mean, uh, oh, controller broke. Controller broke. <laughs> do people do that? They, like... Blame the wrong like, thing. Oh, and then I waited. I'm I'm not doing a great job at this. I'm not doing a great job at remembering where I'm going. Just relax. Uh, so how about let's go into game number two. Game number two was uh, another GBA game. This was Asterix, uh, and Obelix, uh, XXL. If excuse me if I say Asterisk and not Asterix. I never grew up with Asterix. It's a uh, French. Comic about uh, two, uh, I guess, warriors from the Gauls, I believe, and uh, yeah, oh, it's a it's a big one for the French, and uh, I, yeah, I don't know much about it, but this game is effectively it's a beat 'em up slash platformer in 3D, properly rasterized graphics 3D. On the GBA, it is remarkable that it runs at a really solid frame rate. It kind of, it kind of panics a little bit. It's not perfect. I've got to wait for this person to drive. They're trying to kill me. Um, it's not the most perfect frame rate, but it does really well. Like when you know when you're not fighting things, and like what's kind of amazing is that it's properly textured, rasterized in 3D space worlds and there's 31 levels there's a good number of levels going on and uh one thing i kind of like as well is that on the gba you don't get too many buttons you got a b l and r start select d pad that's all you get uh what they what they did basically is that okay you jump with a you punch with b and then that's it l and r can be dedicated yeah. towards camera controls which is really surprising it's a really like surprisingly like simple game to, to understand and the d-pad like it does the job uh the only thing i think i found is that like there's a couple of jumps where it's like yeah okay they're really like pushing it um you get a double jump which is nice uh and fortunately as well most of the levels when there's platforming it's usually not an insta-death pit it's usually like oh you drop in water and you just got to swim back to the beginning and try it again uh and the the combat i, I can skip this as well um, and the combat is like simple enough where it's like, okay, you can hit like the punch button and like you kind of hit everyone around you pretty much. Like it's, it's a bit too good of a punch button. Um, but then yeah, you, you go through the levels, 
The levels are kind of beat em up -y, but they involve a little bit of, you know, jumping around and, and finding a switch or finding a little hidden hidden bit if you want. Um, kind of kind of annoyingly, like, you aim to 100% the levels by picking up all the, the helmets and basically beating all the, the enemies. Um, and the enemies sometimes just pour out of, like, hole or doors in the wall or, or holes in cave walls. Um, and, uh... They just keep coming until they stop. It's not really a clear indicator and sometimes it feels like they, they take a while. But the first couple of levels also don't do any like boss arena or not or arena style uh, encounters where like okay the switch is locked and you have to beat all the enemies in order to continue. Um, every level after level 2 seems to do it all the time. But, uh, but at the beginning it, they don't really so it kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, but other than that, like, there's a good number of enemies, you got, like, stronger dudes, you got, like, weaker dudes, you got dogs, um, they got, like, these flying enemies that drop bombs, but they keep on forgetting, like, how to follow you. Um, there you go, there's a, there's a attempt at a joke. Um, and, uh, there may be some other ones as well, but it's just, like, you know, there's a, there's a solid amount of stuff that goes on for a game that takes about six hours. It's a bit, it's, it's... A fair bit repetitive but I think for a GBA game it's very admirable that like one it tries legit rasterized graphics um, and then actually works out pretty alright and then two like works really well from there so yeah uh, let's see let's see if there's a, another way to go you can definitely dodge these guys if you go right I guess And then I'm pretty sure you go left, because then you're not dealing with the um, uh, person who I don't know if I can car categorize them. Person who defies category. Oh my gosh. Moose. That's my hat. You know what we do with hat rustlers? Here's something as well, the game sometimes brings up these combat bits. That's obviously not what you do, by the way. And I died, even better. And I'm all the way back here, I just didn't even click my head, I'm looking at it going, ah, ah, I'm back to here. I never feel like it's that bad later in the game. I think it's actually like just near the beginning it's really obnoxious. So, okay. The worst part is that like... Off the top of my head like I can start like... I feel like I can start like rocking the stuff after the jeep bit. That's about halfway through the game I think. But until then, until then it takes a bit so... Yeah, uh, also with the Asterisk game, uh, Asterisk, uh, every, every world has a level which involves, like, you riding Asterisk, riding on Obelisk, uh, and it's like a, um, like a, like a, a, a secret slide level. So sometimes it's on a river, and sometimes it's down a slope, and it's kind of like, just like a little bonus round, really. Nothing tries to kill you, but it's, it's a really neat idea, and in fact, when you get all the 100% and all the levels, you start unlocking new levels. Just like in um, like a little bonus mode that's just like, oh, you, you can you can do more of these slide levels. Um, ultimately, yeah, it's pretty alright. The only problem I guess I have is that there's no bosses. The game kind of ends with you just beating a lot of enemies. Um, so you kind of have to get a bit good at it. But I'd say it's pretty alright. The right is pointing me towards death, but I think there's actually a way of getting around it. Because you get into that combat scenario. And you want to just like, not do the wrong choice there. Oh, I think actually I I might have died because I ran out of lives. General store. Looks awfully familiar to me. Sure does. Oh yeah. Sure does. Sure does. M O O S E. Moose. M O O S E. A. You know what we do with hat rustlers? No. Give him a punch. And then he punches me right back. Cool. Yeah, yeah, this is what's supposed to happen. So you take the hit and go to jail, but because I ran out of health, these guys uh, kind of just caught me dead. 
But okay, all right. We're back in jail. I'm gonna skip this. So now she's gonna break me out. Care for your <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> I swear, actually, real talk, real talk. I legit, I will try to record all this and then try and pass it through like, uh, um, what's a, what's one like video 2x or something. There's, there's bound to be like machine learning models that can try and clean this up. Because like, this game was never released on any other platform. I think some people have like some like demo screenings of like bits, because I've seen like VHS quality of some of this game. The Sega CD quality has a lot to be desired. Um, and it gets, it gets one thing right, and that's it's full screen. That's the one thing you can do. Uh, but you can obviously tell it's like every like 8x8 pixel has like two colors, I think. Or four colors going on. It, it, it's really trying. So, okay. Um, so just, just for clarification, this bit right here, you can take any of these vehicles. I'm going to take this. Actually, I'm going to go left here. You crazy? This is exactly where you go. <laughs> it 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 feels like a fever dream. This game as well. Like yeah yeah, take the 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 jeep, the bike, or just just let a wagon go right down the hill. <laughs> oh. I feel like this one's the easiest one to, like, understand. Or oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I guess you go left. Because the cutscene just bails left. Okay, don't get your hands up. Oop, nope. You don't go left. You don't go left there. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm just back here. This is, this is the hard bit. Actually, the entire game's the hard bit. It's very unclear where you're even supposed to go. You just trial, you just trial and error. Constantly. So. Yeah, oh yeah, Testosterone Surge. Listen, the, the first time Testosterone Surge came up was when the chick, like, invites you into the the bathroom in the, on the plane and goes, have you ever done it on a plane? And then she pulls out a knife and goes, too bad, you'll never find out. It's like, okay. It's the <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even get over that. What is the Sigma mode being engaged? This guy goes full Sigma. When he, when he starts like getting, getting violent. He gets angry. I think you just go forward in this case. Don't go left. See, now this looks like you're going fast. Just straight through. Straight through. They'll never catch you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always put any percent. It's, it's, it's a good meme. <laughs> they got away. They're going to catch up, or? No, yeah, yeah. You just hit the bottom by now. This one's the easy one. What a nice fella. So yeah, I think that's about halfway through the game. Um, and uh, if I game over, well, you'll see the beginning part of the game over and over again. So, uh, obviously the doctor is just chilling at a motel. They'll never find you in here. Especially while you're still wearing a lab coat. And I guess the guy's got a big wire what coming out of his ear. What is going on, Doctor? Why are these people chasing me? They're after you because of the operation. What do you mean? Well, after the accident, I reconnected your brain the with accident? the accident. And now you're quite normal. Well, don't know if I'd say that. Great. It's normal, except why are these people trying to kill me? Oh, they don't care about you. They want what's in your brain. Brain control, it's the dream of every fascist dictator in the world. And we got one of the worst after us, Dr. Akabo Slitkan and his thugs. Those two feds. And the woman, well she's the most dangerous of all. They call her heels because of the stiletto shoes she wears. It's the last thing anyone ever sees. Yeah, I saw them. Well, that's great. 
What are we gonna do? I call her heels because she wears Guys, shoes. The only way we can clear this thing is to get the story to my editor. The second this thing hits the front page, you two are safe. Really? Is, is that how this works? Uh, apparently. Oh. Who is it? House cleaning. House cleaning. Um, come back later. It's really not a good time for us right now. Sorry, must do house cleaning now. I'm going in here. Oh, <laughs> just comes in with an Uzi, jeez. Oh, it was a wig the whole time. Thanks, babe. We'll take it from here. Is he gonna bite the apple? Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Ah, there it is! There it is! <laughs> Chemical weapon. Oh, jeez, yeah. Not bad. You gotta teach me that. You gotta teach me that. Oh my gosh. I, I, is she also a fed? Is that what we're going with? So. Oh no, I hit the end of a battery. Does that mean... That means I'm all the way back at the top of the hill? Okay, okay. Running out of the battery is, does a very, very oddly selective things. So, you can skip some cutscenes, but not all of them. Like, it's kind of the longer ones you can skip. These shorter ones. Shorter, air quotes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, down the mountain, you guys. Uh, third game of the week to mention. Uh, I played a game called Hidden Shapes Black Skull Jigsaw Puzzle Game. It's a $2 puzzle game some guy made. Uh... I don't have too much to say about it. The way you play it is, uh, it gives you a bunch of line outlines, uh, on a grid. And you click them and it rotates the pieces and eventually you've rotated all the pieces the right way and you make the, the picture. It takes about two and a half hours, so it's just longer than the Steam refund feature. Uh, and, uh, it, it won, it's got two music tracks and one of them reminded me of Pirates of the Caribbean, which I guess it's a pirate theme puzzles, so sure. Some of the shapes are kind of reused between the puzzles, which is a bit weird. I also find it, find it's a little weird that, um, uh, the puzzles, you work out, like, the foreground of them, and then it, like, makes the full picture and gives you a background. Can I skip from here? No, I've got to wait until they take the ride. Um, and then, and then you do all 20 puzzles, and then you repeat, except you're now solving the backgrounds of the puzzles, but you then make the same picture at the end. And then the game just finishes, and you're like, oh, okay. Um, it's alright, I guess it was two bucks, so. Alright, let's not get shot. She's gonna give me house cleaning. Who is it? House cleaning! House cleaning! Um, now it's just completely lie! Hyperventilating! Give me that testosterone surge. I'm going left! <laughs> she just goes in open fire. We're going forward. There we go. We're free. Take off the wig. Can't believe it. So now this part of the game is kind of weird. It's like... Here's the wedding car, and it's possible to avoid this next, like, sequence of getting captured, but you've got to do, like, the next, like, ten inputs perfectly or something like that. So, so if you do any of them wrong, like that, but, uh, then, then you, <laughs> okay, I didn't do that one. You just get captured. So you're in this, like, chemical plant here. Uh, apparently they got someone's brain. Are those dead people in there? Oh, okay. Hey, slip guy, look, I delivered the merchandise, now payday, huh? Delivered the merchandise. Bring him in. Oh, okay, that's you. I was like, oh, okay. 
Aha, time to wipe some needles that are very hard to notice on the Sega CD. This guy is very aware of where the camera is all the time. It's, it's a bit on, weird. Get this thing over with. All in good time, my dear. Brain surgery is one thing. Knowledge extraction quite another. <laughs> Isn't that right, Dr. Rosa? You will learn nothing from us, you stupid. She does wear a lot of dresses. Yeah. And she's she's pulled the the Russian accent this time. What? You can't even see the wire. The resolution is so low. Table. Pull him on the table. Oh, he's strength boost. Here we go. Please, someone help me. No one can help you. Ever again. Oh, there he goes. They made like a door opening sound. The, the cosplayer. That'd, that'd be a great one. We'll see. Whoop. Oh. He's gonna touch my wire again. Put him on the table. Put him on the table. Get on table. No! <laughs> no! It's, it's an incredibly easy way to like get out of here. Again, you kind of have to just notice that there was a lift on your right, which is, you know, probably the most logical option. This part? I don't know about this part, though. This part's a bit weird. It's just like, okay, like, legit, where do you go? Where do you go? You just, you just gotta, like, you just gotta know. You gotta go, like, right and then, like, left or something. I think you go left here. Yeah. Cause like these guys are literally just anywhere. Like they're above me right now, but then if I go the wrong way at some point, they're just in front of me there. Oh, still going. If only had a quieter gun. Exactly, yeah. So I'm just gonna like lean left here. It's apparently being on the outside is good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Give her the whole one, two. <laughs> they just watch her. They're like, oh gosh, jeez. <laughs> All it took was one punch as well. She had the Uzi in the last scene and she just came at you with the gun. But no. Oh, but then I went right and suddenly... <laughs> a, there was a samurai here and at that point... At that point it's a no-go. At that point it's a no-go. Oh, and I was dead. The end. The end. So, uh... Time to... Time to continue the game from the beginning. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Uh, yeah. Alright, game number four on this list. Uh, I think this is the only other one I've got. Yeah, the last game of the list is, uh, Ikaruga. I kept mentioning it when I kept mentioning Dark Souls and being like, Hey, that's a game that I should play. I never ever finish Ikaruga, and that's because, uh, every time they- <laughs> True. True. Once you see someone die, you know, it changes- it changes everything. That's- I'm saying that way more positively than, than I really should. You know what I mean? It's like... It's like, you know, you punch someone off a- off a ledge. It means something. Also, you're, you're gonna be amazed, like, how- how this guy ended up getting captured after riding a- a, a wagon down a- down a, a slope. Um... But yeah, no, Ikaruga. So, it's a top-down shmup. Very classic. It was an arcade game and then it got ported to the Dreamcast and it was like a sleeper Dreamcast hit for a long time until uh, someone ported it on Xbox Live Arcade. So that's cool. Um, obviously as a downloadable version you get free play so you don't have to pay credits. Um, 
But what the game does is that it goes, you're not really a true player unless you play the game in the most default settings, which is zero continues, three lives, and a point system that will give you lives basically never. I think I got one life after doing like an infinite continues run. And on to he goes. <laughs> Into the express checkout. So he's on the plane. I might as well show this scene again. It's too good. It's too good. Let's hide in here. It's it's so good. Have you ever done it in the bathroom before? No. Too bad. Why? Because you'll never know how it feels. <laughs> she just smiles. <laughs> this is so. Oh, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Let's hide in here. So, but this as well, like this is the craziest bit. I, I, I love that this is the intended way to continue. That's just insane that that even works. Hey, you're good. good thing no one played this game or else people would have done this in real life. Or that. While we're at it, imagine if you throw it. Yeah, this would be, this would be over way sooner. If she, if, you know, she wasn't around for the rest. Instead you gotta punch her off a, punch her off a bit. Oh, there he goes. Down he goes. And then a bear bit. Obviously a bear. Making the wonderful noises. Lie down. So, but yeah, Ikaruga, classic shmup. The reason why it's classic is because it's got this uh, system where enemies shoot either light pellets or dark pellets, and you can shield against one of them, and it basically means that there's intense bullet spam until it changes the polarity on you and then it's like oh okay then you block the other kind and then it's just like how do we mix the two in a nice way the game is about 25 minutes long if you're throwing all these infinite continues in there and uh one thing i kind of liked is that it starts to make sense like there's these really bizarre patterns that actually like are much more approachable later on uh, i'm gonna see if i can figure out this sequence because this one's a bit of a really tricky one to figure out Oh, that. Howdy. Nice hat. Thank you. Where'd you get it? Oh, a store. General store. It looks awfully familiar to me. Sure does. Oh, yeah. Sure does. Sure does. Sure does. M O O S E. Moose. That's my 99.9%. It's not 100% no, hostile. No. Oh, he's making a run. And oh, he gets arrested anyways. <laughs> do, do you take the hit? No, no. That's the safe way into the jail. Okay, so you have to end up in the jail anyways. You have to end up in the jail anyways. But at least you can get in there without getting hit. Open the cell. Open the cell. I wouldn't do that if I were you, little lady. You open that cell door right now or I'm gonna blow your redneck head off. I, would she get arrested for one, stealing the gun, and then, well, charged for one, stealing the gun, and two, the threat of the violence? Like, I guess pointing the gun's one thing, but, like, you can say in court, it's like, yeah, no, she, she said she's gonna blow your, your head off. It's kind of one thing. Can't Come on, country Come on. courts, I swear. And then you just get driven back into town. Like, how long was he on the plane, anyways? That's probably Slickcon thugs right now. We gotta get out of here. Probably right. the thugs. There he goes. Out he runs. Yeah, I'd, I'd never actually finished Ikaruga. I kept trying to play... Oh, yeah, I don't know why she put down the gun. Um, and, and yeah, for reference, they get out of jail. 
they get out of jail so that they can drive the cars to like chase you down. Get in, let's go. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? So, uh, I don't know that one. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd never been in Ikaruga because, yeah, I kept trying to play on that, like, die-hard mode. Um, but I feel like it's a bit easier to, to just kind of interpret by trying to beat the game in as few continues as possible. So I think it took me about, like, 20 or something continues. Which isn't actually that bad if it would take a dollar a run. Um, like, 20 bucks for an arcade game isn't actually that bad. Um... I, I still like my Daytona pricing of, like, I, usually people do $2 instead of the 1, but sure. And then it's just like, that's it. You can't, like, chuck in more money to get better at Daytona. You put in the money, and you get one attempt at it. And you just gotta get good at it. But, that's really nice. So, driving games are always really good at it. Unless it's, like, Road Rash. Oh, sorry, Dirt Dash, not Road Rash. Road Rash is the one where you're on a bike hitting people. Dirt Dash is the one where you drive around the ring for like four minutes. I think there's like a Le Mans one where it takes like one minute to do a lap. It's crazy short. And away you go. On, on the, the car again. Alright, time to not get killed. Who's cleaning? Um, come back later. It's really not a good time for us right now. Sorry, must do house cleaning now. Oh, there he goes. How did she get a key? I wish you could skip. I really wish you could skip these things. I wonder if this game, like, might potentially get that, uh, that treatment that Night Trap did. Where people just find the original source footage, and then effectively make like a super duper version of it. Which... He's like, I don't know, I feel like this game would do okay with that treatment. The video quality on the Sega CD is just not great. At the very least, like, Night Trap got a later release on the Saturn. So there were like some better quality things out there. Night Trap's not as fun a game to watch though. Because, uh... Effectively, you've just got to do some like set like reaction sequences. It's an interesting game to play for the first time. Whoa! Oh! Oof! I hit some. I hit some bricks. Some logs. Oh, now I'm back here. So let's skip. And I assume now I'm gonna punch the guy. Okay. So now I gotta punch the guy. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, he's coming at me. Bzz, bzz. Put him on the table. Put him on the table. Get on the table. Bam. I think that's the only time you even see the villain in the game. Like just this one bit. I don't think he even shows up near the end. It's very weird. It's a very weird game. I don't even know how to explain it. Alright, down the lift he goes. I love as well, like, you don't run after the guy. Like, you just go the other way. I want to see as well, maybe... There is a cheat code, by the way, that lets you go to any of the, the scenes. I just want to probably... Maybe I should just beat the game and then show you that. Because it's, uh... Probably a bit jarring, like, having to play the game over and over again. But still legit, like, I think this game would probably take, like, two, maybe three hours on the first try. Just, you gotta learn the settings. You gotta learn the paths, but it's... Because every scene is, like, different in some way, it doesn't quite throw you off as much. Like, it's very easy to, to go here, like, you can just hit left a couple of times. And this does work, this gets you all the way down here. How do they even get to the other side? Because they were chasing you on, on the upper bit there. Ah. <laughs> Down she goes. She's probably wearing a red dress because it pops up really well on, on the, the camera. I don't know though. 
Like, I don't think they really filmed this to, like, go in the Sega CD quality. I think it actually was just, like, a sign of its time. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, he's taking the fun way down the stairs. Some of this would be kind of painful. This guy managed to get all the way down here, and you know what he does? You know what he encourages you to do? Get into the exact same car that you crashed in earlier. This is what I mean. You just continue driving. So if you never crash the car, you just go back to driving the car like this. And all you gotta do is dodge the barrels. Which is, uh, take a huge guess what's going on here. It's not too bad, it's just kind of some, you know, right, left, right stuff going on. And then you gotta take a guess, so you gotta go right, I don't know. And there's a car, so obviously you steer around its, its rear. Why not? And then, and then, pff, like, sure, all right, all right. S -s massive explosion, sure. Good thing his blood pressure normalized. Sir, would you like to tell me what's going on? I found them. Who? Dr. Oha and Wirehead. I just got a call from a guy who said he's gonna kill Wirehead's family if we don't deliver Dr. Oha to the shipyard. Are you involved with this? Uh, Sam, I'm sorry, I've gotta call you back. Eh? Why, yes, normal reaction. Slickcom's got your family. What? What? He's taking your family <laughs> hostage, and he wants Dr. Oha in exchange for them. I'll give them what they want. They don't need you. Are you crazy? Do you really think that Slickcon is just going to say, oh, thank you very much, and let you walk away? No, he's going to kill you, and you, and anybody that knows anything about this operation. I should have never gotten you involved in this. Come on, don't do I mean, that. isn't the whole point? <laughs> Three kills, right? He's yeah. got my family. Isn't the whole point of like why Wirehead's right. alive and thrown into this because he would have died of a terminal family. injury Dr. or something? You go to the police and meet us there. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I'll just go to the police. Like, pfft, they'll never find you there. Meanwhile, we're just going on this boat. Everyone loves a, a boat level, you know? Like, Goldeneye has a great boat level. Duke Nukem 3D has a great boat level. That was a fun thing. That everything in the mid to late 90s did. Boat levels. Is this a boat level that we'll understand? I don't know. Please be careful. Oh my gosh, that was some ASMR right there. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Do, do not go left. Oh, I hit the end of the battery. Does that mean I'm gonna, like, take my t Oh no, I'm back here on, like, right outside where I was. Look at that. The checkpoint worked. And then I got the ASMR again. Cool. Okay, do not go that way. Instead, go the other way. Let's let's walk across. Just legitimately beats up a guy. That little rat's starting to get to me. When I get my hands on that little freak, I'm personally gonna rip his eyes out. I'm gonna take that wire. <laughs> hey, you watch me! You watch me. I thought those two guys blew up in the car as well. Why is Raiden so tall? He- I don't even know. I don't even know how Raiden got that tall. You ready for an illusion of choice, by the way? Every single button here keeps going the same way, including not pressing any button. Careful. 
He just goes the same way every time. I don't think they filmed anything going left. The oh yeah yeah the eyes are a weird one. I assume it's like just to kind of indicate that you didn't do any action. It's like oh wait a minute. Birds here into the window. This guy does not do a good job though. Like you think he'd hear like some guy climbing some steps or something very quickly as well. There are boats on this boat. It's a it's a king boat. <laughs> Oh, life rafts? Women and children first? Man with a mustache needs to investigate. So though, I guess, how many people do they expect some- Well, I guess this is a pretty big boat. Oh, do not go that path. Instead, choose the path of life. Except I still went right anyways, it's kinda weird. They threw him in the water with suits that would drown. Huh. Clothes are too heavy. True, why do we wear such cl- She's still here, by the way! We kicked her off. Oh! That's some good kicks. <laughs> what? How is she back? I don't know. Wow, I'm all the way back here after dying once, by the way. Not even, not even the checkpoint. I can't even believe it. I hear something fishy. This one's kind of neat as well. You can, like, if you pick the wrong way, you just kind of beat up the one guy down here. But you can just also just go up the stairs immediately and miss the guy. It's just kind of interesting. It's a different scene. That little rat's starting to get. Get little rats starting to get me. Freak, I'm personally gonna rip his eyes out. I'm gonna take that wire. So is today the equinox? Hey, you the day when like there's about twelve hours of daylight and twelve hours of sun. Sorry, t yeah, same thing. Twelve hours of of sun, twelve hours of moon. I think it is, isn't it? March twenty one. Happy equinox, everyone. We are at the midpoint of the seasons. They start changing for the worst. They're all over the place. That was too close. All right, this way. Oh my gosh! Did I really just? <laughs> did I really just walk off the cliff, off the boat? How many blue shirts do you think they went through during filming? Man, this bit takes so long! Of them walking around! I hear something fishy. So long this bit of them walking around. They're in there. Fun fact, there's actually, there's two cheat codes in this game. One of which, uh, I love how hitting left is a legit way to go, by the way. I don't know why they grayed out. Um, one, one is like the one where you can warp to basically any scene, and another one actually just puts an on-screen prompt every single time telling you which direction is the way to go. Which is weird again, because like, yeah, the, the game's not like, too tough. If you, if you keep trial and erroring, you'll eventually find what, what works. The game's at least pretty clear, like, what's continuing as well. Like, you reach these new sections and you're like, oh, okay, I'm going the right way. How do they get this wrong, by the way? Like, how do they just go, ah, yes, let's go left, and they just run off the, the boat? Like, you just open the door, you can clearly tell it's the edge of the boat. They don't even run this time, they just go right. <laughs> I'm, 
I love these royalty free sounds as well. I really want, I want a CD full of these royalty free sounds. That'd be the best birthday present ever. It's like steady cam action, you know? Where it's just like, I don't know, these handheld shots. I don't know who directed the film, or the, like, well, this, basically. All I know is that this, this lead actor actually was in a handful of things. Copyright works fire with Disney in charge. Ooh. Oh, true, yeah, does, does Disney own this, or is MGM its own thing still? This one's a bit amazing, I don't even know if it's gonna get copyright struck. We'll see. I keep talking over it. I keep critiquing it. Uh, as a film, it's like, ah oh, yes, the cinematography shows the, uh, power dispute between heels and, uh, wirehead here. Yes. <laughs> Pick, yeah, oh, it's, it's so hard. Yep, it's like, take a guess which direction you've got to go in. Shut up, kid! <laughs> Amazing. They're in there. How many guards? Two. Okay, come here. Okay, if I can get them in here, do you think we can take them out? Yeah, I think so. She looks at the camera like, oh no. Oh! Oh! He just took off the jacket. Wow! Does this work? Hey Brad, look at this. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! That was a no input by the way, that was just... Gameplay it itself. Come on, Ned. We gotta get he, true, true, but <laughs> like, like head trauma like that. That doesn't go. That doesn't go cleanly. jump hi ah! oh my gosh she did not plan for this at all no one planned for anything in this you think at this point they'd have a gun <laughs> oh my gosh jeez what is going on what is actually happening this kid is just Whoa. Easiest getaway, I swear. Where's Dr. Oha and the police? We can't wait for them right now. We gotta get out of here. Slick Hunt's gonna get us. I don't wanna put my family in any more danger. Don't you understand? He's after you, not your family. They should take the car and go to the police. You and I have to get to my editor. It is your only chance. Sally, are you alright driving that Cadillac? Yes. That's, that's again, the same one you, you drove, crashed, and drove again. Ned, you gotta go, please. Like, why, why are you splitting up from them, anyways? Who knows? So anyways, uh, here's a bit of an interesting bit, because, uh... Interestingly, there's three different routes, and only the left one works, but the other ones have, like, a few bit of things going on with them. I'm going right. If I here I go. <laughs> These people are not very good at what they do. Oh, what? Oh. Turn it around. Ah! 
and then you get to do a jump, why not? So the idea is that you can take that vehicle and it just doesn't work as a jump. Like that's the whole point. Uh, and then they do it again! They do it twice, back to back! I think we can get a taxi over here. But what's kind of nice is that uh, only the left one apparently is uh, is bad. But you can you can take the fifth tr the fish truck and it works, or you could take the uh, the June buggy and it works. And they filmed them. They filmed them driving around in all these vehicles and dropping fish everywhere. But again, this this whole bit is just like it's just guesswork. It's all guesswork. It's really hard to know where you go. Oh. Oh. It's a it's a lot of button pressing here though. This this is probably the most like involved part. Reacted to that one. Whoops. Fresh fish. Exactly, yeah. Oh, I'm back at the boat, really? I'm back at the boat. Back at the boat. Man, that's really brutal. The amount of, like, just rewinding it does. It, it never really clicked in my head how far back it goes. But no, yeah, it's, it's pretty far. Because, like, I, I was not in a dead end. I could have kept going. Ah! <laughs> Up and over. I will say, they, they put in a lot of, uh, of effort into doing all this stunt work. Like, legit. There's a lot of different ways that this can go. I think we can get a taxi over here. I'm taking the buggy, man. The buggy just seems okay, like the easier on, option. Come on. I must be crazy. Put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> just, just this guy is the epitome of cool. When I grow up, I want to be Wyatt. I want to get into weird fistfights at bars. Steal people's clothes. Hijack, hijack planes. Uh, uh, what else does he do that's very questionable? Uh, break out of jail. Um... And apparently never joined the Mile High Club. All in a day's work. What does this guy even do for a living? He's just like living with his family. He's a nerdy guy. What city is this? Is this Seattle? I see like the, the, the spiral. Oh, I don't know. I'm good. I'm good. I got it. No, I'm not good. Gosh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, but I'm back to the point. Detroit become human, maybe. I had better luck with the, the fish. I had better luck with the fish. I'm going with the fish. The worst part is that the turns are different for the fish and the buggy. And also they had to shoot this like three times for the three vehicles. And they had to do it a couple of times as well. Like they really put in the effort to make it a little different each time. I wonder if like this is actually like they filmed it in the car, or whether it's like green screened in. I think they legit like filmed this. Where are you going? Stop! This was a weird one. The fact that like you go right here, like. Wipe a 
He's going straight. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, jeez. Oh my gosh, jeez. Oh my gosh. I, I can't get over this. Woo! Keeps going. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say the buggy gets you there quick, but this. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just ramps everywhere. I'm pretty sure that guy's car would keep working, but sure. Sure, okay, so the fish truck becomes a convertible right at the end. And here we are, here we are at the... <sighs> Good parking job. Can't believe we made it. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. So here we are at, uh, The Times. You know, everyone's favorite newspaper, The Times. Not so fast. I believe we have some unfinished business to attend to. Is there a problem here, Miss Levin? The game is over, Slidcon. Give it up. Charlie, throw that man out of here. Yes, ma'am, sir. I'm afraid I'm going to have to have... Oh, no! <laughs> the game is never over, my dear. Would you like to come with me, or shall we finish things right here? To answer your question, Dr. Sleet Khan, I think we should end everything right now. All of your evil-minded schemes. I, I feel like the, the, the attempted murder... <laughs> Why? That was for me. Okay. Hey. Everybody, come on. I've got two hours if I'm gonna make that deadline. He'll be just fine. Take him to the hospital. Man gets shot. Bunch of people get arrested. I gotta got do my deadline! Granted, that's like me with like uni projects. <laughs> Miss Levin, you can't go in there. What are you trying to do to me? Damn, I am so sorry I didn't call you back sooner. Where have you been? Uh, almost everywhere. Look, the mayor has called me, the chief of police has called me. You have given me more trouble in one day than I've had in 40 years at this paper. 40 Sam, years? I don't understand. This is Dr. At the Bowen, Times. And this is Ned Hubbard, the infamous wirehead. How do you do, sir? How do you do? It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Mr. Ah, oh, the Vulcan I'm nerve pinch. Whoa. Oh, oh. Here she goes. Whoop. Oh. Give her a one, two. Not bad for a wirehead. What, what do you mean for a Y head? Give her the kick. And give her a one, two, switch. And, uh... Oh. Apparently that's what gets her, by the way. Not the falling off the building. Or getting trampled by some kids. She said, not yet. She has a very bad head injury. I think I can save her. Call an ambulance. But not for me. Doctor, she's been trying to kill us. There's good and evil in everyone. It's just a matter of what buttons you push. Oh yeah. So what are you saying? <laughs> By the way, that's your moral. You that's your morals in the end. It's like everyone is good. Just depends on whether you do it. And response time considerably. Great. Just what we need—a female wirehead. She's being rewired as we speak. And for reference, and that's the end of the game. It's a it's a bizarrely quick ending. Next question. But how did you get away? I had a little help. Somebody who basically saved my life. Thanks again. It was it was great talking to you. My family's waiting for me. I'd like to try to relax and, and uh, just get back to normal. Thank you. Pop on the sunnies and see ya. But uh, yeah, no, that's the game. Turning to and addressing. What are you talking about? You keep turning around and talking to this person and asking 
for help. That was Oha's, you know, plan to help to help me. I mean, that's so, my override. So Oha, it, you're talking to Oha? No, it's not Oha. No, oh. no, it's uh, we'll, we'll call it the person, the player. I'd like to leave it at that. I just don't understand some of the choices you made. Why did you pick the wagon? Bad choice. Is this some kind of interview? Well, how are you? All right, well. No, I'm just wondering why I had to go down the mountain on that bouncy thing and yeah. risk my life. I, I appreciate there's a bit of dialogue here. The wagon, the jeep, the skateboard, the zodiac, and I rode the pig. Neither of you listened to me. I had some really good ideas. We listened. I said go right, you said go left, but what was the right choice? What was the back? We listened to you once. What was that? When we went out of the boat. And where did it get us? I got a kick in the face from that. I guess you did stuff for the most in you. So, all right, that's that's the game. That is why I had. I'll, I'll try and just show off a couple of like other small things, really quick. Um, but yeah, it's it's a game. It exists. It's a Sega CD game, and it just kind of came out and existed. And I don't even know anything that these devs ever did. They're called the Code Monkeys. Um, but apparently they lasted for a while because I do looking it up. They did. Fun fact: they did. Uh, the Simpsons skateboarding on the PS2. And, uh... The Garfield game that is not actually... I don't think it's actually based off the film that came out that year, but it was just a Garfield game. And that's about it. I don't know any of the rest of these. They got a little video for them. There you go. The Code Monkeys. It's a logo with a C and an M in it. And, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's the game. So... You may be wondering, well, what's the what's the thing that you should be like showing up? Well, first of all, if you pause the game and you hit down, up, left, up, right, start, uh, every time that you get given a prompt, up there in the top left, it's telling you exactly where you need to go in order to continue. It's great. Pause the game again. Right up, down, up, left, B. You whoop. Right up, down, up, left, B. Right up, down, up, left, B. Really quick. Okay, there you go. It uh. It uh, brings you to this wonderful screen, looks so debuggy, but effectively if you unpause at any of these scenes, it just jumps you to that shot. And therefore you can pretty much just cut to any point in the game and experience the joys of driving right at this specific intersection. Like this is what I love, is that there seems to be like an error like outcome for so many things. Ah, uh, like that one. Yeah, this one, this one, like, I mean, it's ultimately, like, a real simple game. I mean, so simple that, like, they, they implemented it in DVD technology. But it's just, like, I find, I love that there's so many, like, dead outcomes. There's so many dead ends. Uh, it, obviously, it doesn't quite know where you came from when it's trying to resume a checkpoint, but it's like, oh, okay. Um, I also don't know, like, what's what's the numbering here. Uh, this one's also a fun thing. I believe if you hit C... Uh, wait, hold on. And then you hit C. I think you hit C. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Uh, pause and- oh, you pause and hit C, there you go. And so that gives you a little bit of just, like, dev info. So it's going like, oh, this is, uh, like, scene 253, and you're supposed to hit left here, yeah, because you went left from the path, from the last path, or something like that. Uh, which I- I, I feel like it's kind of neat. There's a- there's a lot of just, like, neat things all around here. Um, I don't think there's anything hidden. Like, everything does appear in the game. Oh yeah, this is driving the buggy. So the buggy is like there. You can see it's going to recommend me pathways. Or like right here. It's like, you will just get arrested when you get into the buggy. You get to drive around a bit. And then it's just like, yeah, nah. And, and it's, going to, it's going to lock me into that one. What else is there? What's another neat bit? 57, is that... Uh, that was a bit weird. It didn't even do anything. It just kind of bailed me out after 57. There we go. Here I am. 
So this is on the bike. It's like, yeah, you can you can do stuff on. Well, sorry, there's a there's a route on the bike. Down, down. He's, he's chasing down the slope. <laughs> there he goes. But yeah, it's it's a weird one. It it exists, and it's probably like one of the better ones. But it's so under the radar, and it never came out on any other console. It just came and it went. And rightly so, because stuff like that, where you get like a quarter second to realize that there's a prompt. Yeah, like that. that that's one thing. That's one thing. I don't miss that. It's very, it's very trial and error, though. This whole bit only exists. Sorry, this whole, like, game pretty much exists to, to like, capitalize on a... On a bit of a trend. This bit, I swear, like that that's just the most wild bit. Uh, let's see. Is 121 actually the ending of the game? Did I even like identify that? I think it is. This one's great if you accidentally like do the wrong action here. Just get a kick. And then she just, you know, fourth wall break. He didn't think I was just gonna walk away, did you? Her accent just disappears, apparently. And then right here, before the end prompt, you can be... Nah, wrong one. Well, you won't be needing this anymore. I, I love this as well. Like, what's, a, what's another game that does this? Where it's like, the villain finds you out or something, and he just, just talks directly to you on the camera. Just happens a lot, so... Anyways, that's why I had, uh, I'd, I'd suggest just give this game a try. Just, uh, find it in some capability. Is it a rare game? I don't know. But, it's a neat game. And that's all I'll really say. So, with that, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, um, somehow, or if you want to copyright strike me, you can go over to youtube.com slash bandow, where, uh, that is where exactly this VOD is gonna end up. Uh, gonna see you in court MG- Nah, I, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I'm not dying on that hill too often. This one's a toughie. This one's a real toughie. I think I've got criticism, I don't know, so. Uh, anyways, yeah, yeah, you can, you can subscribe to me if you're not gonna, you know, give me a copyright strike. I'd appreciate that. Or you can follow on Twitch, where I stream every 8.30pm Monday, every single time. Except, uh, next week's fine. I think the week after, that's when Daylight Savings kicks in, so. Note that it's gonna be back an hour, I believe. The clocks go back an hour, I think. So we gain an hour? Something like that. Anyways, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late, and most importantly, uh, don't hijack planes. I was kidding. I swear. <laughs>